guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween, day three. Today we have the jack-o'-lantern. As you can see, I'm just painting my face orange with my Mayron Paradise paints, and I wanted to give this a floating head effect. So I went ahead and painted my neck black. That was gonna be the area that was going to be exposed to make it look like my head was floating. So that's just what we went for today. I just wanted to get a little bit more paint into those eyebrows to cover them up, and we are starting on the jack-o'-lantern so I didn't get this dead on the center and it kind of annoyed me for the rest of the video but I was trying to get that line straight on the center of my forehead started out with shadow and realized that a liner was gonna be the best way to go so I just started creating these little lines to give my face a jack-o'-lantern shape All right, next we've got to get to work on those brows. We cannot have a happy jack-o'-lantern. We've gotta have some furrowed, scowling brows. So that's exactly what we're going for here. I'm just creating this like half circular shape almost to give it the illusion that we've got our brows scrunched together. So I'm using a liner pen to outline this, the same one that I used for those lines in the jack-o'-lantern. And I'm just sketching out the bottom part of the line. Then to start to add some shadow and give it some shape I am taking a very very small detail brush and a very dark brown warm shadow and I'm starting in on some of the shadows and detail this is just gonna give the illusion that this is real that these brows are actually shrunken up and you know making an angry face so we're just layering colors I'm into the black shadow now and just slowly feathering that backwards to give us that illusion. Now I'm gonna fill in the bottom line of the brows with that shadow. And then I decided I wanted to give it a little bit more of a creepy effect. So I went back into that pen liner and I'm just flicking some hair like strokes upwards. The brows needed just a little bit more detail, so I'm adding an additional wrinkle right here, and I'm just doing that with this really, really tiny brush. I actually do not remember where I got this brush. I'll try to see what the name of it is and list it down below, but it's a really, really handy brush for detail work like this, so I'm just running this line right along the other edge of the, you know, scowling brow face that we made, and then I'm flicking that upward and creating a shadow. I decided to recreate the same pattern on the bottom part of the brow and drag a little shadow down my nose to give some definition there. And now I'm gonna get to work on the shading of these lines. This is going to kind of give it that pumpkin effect. You know how it has the lines that, you know, go down the entire length of the pumpkin and they're kind of like scalloped edges almost. We kind of want to give that effect to our face. So I was working on that and I just, I can't stay on one thing for too long for a look like this. So I'm bouncing around, but just follow me. I am working on the eyes now. So I'm just hollowing out my eyes. The inspiration for this eye shape is Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. You guys know I love that movie, but uh, I just didn't want to do like a basic eye shape. I really wanted it to be very interesting, and although this isn't like a Jack Skellington makeup tutorial, I did just really love the eye shape and thought it would be perfect for what I'm doing here. So just using a black body paint, I decided to black out my eyes. I got a little bit too carried away on that eye and went too far down. So if you do the same thing, no worries. You can just even it out on the other side. It's always good to start smaller. That way, if this does happen, you can always make it bigger without making it too big and like ruin the look. So now we're gonna move on to the nose. I started out with kind of just like a basic nose shape. And then I was like, should I do one kind of like a skeleton? And then I just kind of started putting shapes and lines different places. So this is kind of what I came up with. So, you know, when you see like a traditional Halloween skull, I kind of did that, but then added some more lines. So that's kind of the best way I could describe what I just did here. Thank you. 
The next thing I'm working on is sketching out the mouth shape. So with that same eyeliner pen, I am just dragging a really exaggerated smile up my face, starting with my top lip. Now this part was really easy. I'm sure you guys have seen me do the skull looks before where you carve out each tooth and it is very, very intricate. I quickly realized with this look, the more sloppy, the better. I wanted it to kind of just look like a really jagged carved pumpkin. So it really doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of put this on fast speed so you guys could see exactly what I was doing. Just using this same black body paint, I'm just creating these irregular triangle shapes and kind of adding some little, you know, extra detail in between everyone. And I'm not making sure that they're matched up perfectly top and bottom. So there's literally no pressure to make sure it's perfect. I think it looks really great. At one point, which I'm sure you'll see here in a second, I kind of just started scribbling up and down and it worked. So <laughs> really no pressure on this part. Right here, I'm going to be adding a little bit more detail to the eyes to make them look a little bit more sunken in. I'm adding a shadow on that outer bottom edge, just again to give that eye a little bit more depth and dimension. And then I decided that these lines were just like not it. They weren't perfect. So I wanted to go back and add a few extra little baby lines to give it some more detail. And I feel like that helped a lot. And then back with that same little brush and some black shadow, I'm just adding some more shadow to those lines. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm going to be adding some warm brown eyeshadow. It was almost like an orange, it was Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. So it was kind of like an orangey brownish red color. And I feel like that really worked with the orange great. So we're just adding a shadow to the outer part of the face again to make the face look a little bit more round and pumpkin like. My personal philosophy is that you can never add too many shadows to looks like this. And I don't mean just like eyeshadow, I mean like physical shadow to make these things look less like a painted on object and more like a cohesive part of this look. So I'm just taking that same shadow and applying that right in between the teeth, I guess you would call it, or the jagged lines of the mouth. And then again, around the eyes, this just gives everything more of a sunken in look. The more you add shadows, the more real it looks so if you've ever done a look like this and you just feel like it's just not coming together try adding some more shadows I really 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 guarantee that's gonna do a lot for the look we have officially entered the over detailing zone none of this is actually like you have to it's just kind of what I chose to do so <laughs> I always get a little carried away with looks like this adding just like there's always got to be just one more detail you know what I mean so uh, that's kind of what I was doing right here of course it's like not completely necessary very very optional but I feel like it definitely does add a lot to the look now I'm just adding some more shadow, dragging this upward a little bit. I feel like when you paint something on, there's a harsher edge. When you go back in with an eyeshadow, it gives it a very soft feathered effect. And again, just kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. Um, also a little bit more creepy. So right now I'm just kind of dragging out the edges of the mouth to give it less of a harsh line and more of a feathered, almost cracked look into the pumpkin. Just a little more shading on these lines. I don't know, apparently I felt like it just wasn't there yet, so I was continuing to shade those lines and adding a little bit of black liner to my lower waterline. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. I only have one contact in. I don't wear contacts or glasses, and it was really irritating me in that one eye, so I had to take it out. Um, anyway. I am adding a little bit of black shadow to everything to set it. If you're going to wear this out or to a party, I highly recommend doing this step so that it will last you all night long, especially in your eyes. It can crease and then it would just look funny. So the shadow helps to set it. We're going to just hit the lashes with a coat of mascara and that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me again today in the 31 days of Halloween and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.